once in a while I'm scrolling through YouTube to see what's up, see what people are doing on there, and I come across a Dr. Mike video. Not the bald-headed, big buff Dr. Mike, but the skinny, uh, brown hair, and kind of similar to this color, appeals to middle-aged woman Dr. Mike. Now I say that because I think either you're incredibly low intelligent man, or more likely you're just like a middle-aged woman who's like, oh my God, Dr. Mike, he's so pretty. I want to listen to what he says. Because all he does is repeat whatever the standard government recommendations are or whatever the standard World Health Organization recommendations are. Um, you know, I've seen him kind of act like he's good, questioning some things. But that's what he does. It's like when we had the stuff with coronavirus, he told you that you should, you know, get jabbed a bunch of times, that you should wear a mask, that you should social distance. But what did he do? Did he get vaccinated? I don't know. Did he wear a mask? Well, not when he was partying on a yacht with a bunch of girls. Was he social distancing? Not when he was partying on a yacht with a bunch of girls. So he doesn't actually do what he preaches. Now, that's part of human nature. That's kind of do as I say, not as I do. Nobody's perfect. But, you know, that's, that's one thing to pay attention to, that he was encouraging everybody to do this stuff, but he doesn't seem to have done it himself. In fact, we know he didn't do at least most of it himself. The vaccines, who knows? <laughs> you know, if he's encouraging people to get them, I certainly hope he got them himself. Um, now let's pull up another example of why this guy is not to be respected or listened to. He had this one video. I don't watch a lot of his videos. I don't need to watch a lot of them. You know, I watch a few and realize that he's a joke. Um, and excuse me. Forgive me if I do his hand motions wrong. I saw this video like a year ago, but he, he starts the video off with something like, hit, hit, hit cardio. But what's wrong with you? Why are you doing that? Uh, you know, I know why you're doing that because you want to get the 40, 50 year old woman, maybe the 60 year old woman. They're watching you going, oh. And he goes, hit, hit, I, I'm not going to imitate. And he's like being all cutesy about it. And he's giving all this great advice on how you can get in better shape, how you can lose weight, and this and that. And then at the end of the video, he I don't remember what it was. Like maybe it was some sort of watch and company that advice. Maybe it's just some company that you consult with on the phone. I don't remember. But he's giving you all this advice. Like he's the expert on getting in shape. And then he goes, Yeah, but I use this company to help me. They tell me everything I need to do to get in shape. Says the guy who was just telling you how to get in shape. So there's two possibilities. Either number one, he should never be giving you any advice because he needs somebody else to tell him how to get in shape. Or number two, I think this is actually more likely, that he's shilling for that company. You know, that's real life, people. You got shills out there. You know what else he's a shill for? YouTube paychecks. If you are a doctor, or a doctor who has a medical license, just because you have a piece of paper doesn't make you a doctor. Just like getting a degree in art doesn't make you an artist. Um, you gotta be really mentally challenged not to understand that. Doesn't matter if you, you no know, chances are, if you go to art school, doesn't matter if you get your PhD in art, you will never be as good as any of the famous artists who didn't go to art school because they didn't need to go to art school. I got a message. Okay, so. What was it about? Oh, he's a shill for the YouTube payments. Because if you have a medical license and you go on YouTube and you told people, oh, you need to get vaccinated, you need to social distance, you need to do this, you need to do that, YouTube didn't block you. Me, now I did it without a medical license, but I was telling people all the science on the coronavirus and on the vaccines, because I was up on it before pretty much anybody else, and my videos got taken down and I got strikes against my channel. So did I keep doing it? No, because what's the point of a YouTube if they ban you? Can't get any videos out if they ban you. Um, so yeah, we see that he does not do as he says. He also either shills for other companies or he gives advice that he shouldn't be giving because if he actually knew how to get in shape, why does he need to have somebody else tell him how to get in shape? And then what can I say on top of this? Oh, he gives moronic advice. Like I clicked on this short video and he's sitting there trying to act intelligent. Someone asks him something about um, 
what do they call it? Um, biohacking or something, or health optimization. And they go, do you believe in trying to optimize health? And he goes, no, you know, everybody's trying to do all these things to be healthier, but the body, it always seeks equilibrium. So you do this to try to become healthier and your body's just gonna do the opposite and reset itself. Oh yeah, dude, you know, that's why, you know, we shouldn't eat healthy, we shouldn't exercise, you shouldn't take in proper amounts of minerals or vitamins or anything, because your body's just gonna do reverse exercise. Your body's just gonna do reverse eating good. Oh yeah, you, you consume extra calcium to increase your calcium, your body's just gonna piss more of it out, you know? You will not actually improve your body's content of calcium by eating calcium, of course not. Now, of course, the picture's very complex, uh, but the point is, it's not pointless to do things to improve your health. The body does not just do the opposite all the time. Yes, the body seeks equilibrium, uh, but with this kind of logic, you know, maybe we should just not worry about doing bad things because the body's just going to counteract it. So it's like nothing's good, nothing's bad if the body just counteracts every single thing we do. So apparently we cannot do anything to make our health worse or better. Um, you know, if that's the kind of guy you want to listen to, go right ahead. I'm still convinced that he's only got morons and middle-aged women watching him. It's a shame you got people like him so popular giving completely worthless or even harmful advice. Making a lot of money off of your gullibility. My English gets worse and worse, but off of people being gullible.